So, touch the leg, everybody. <laughs> so, um, so today, it is wonderful to commemorate this uh, 32nd celebration of uh, uh, the confirming or awarding the Nobel Peace Prize to our great master, His Holiness the Dalai Lama, uh, in 1989, I think. So, um, so it is actually a very special day uh, that uh, the world actually recognized uh, somehow uh, His Holiness, to, you know, like a, a effort to bring peace. And uh, so uh, that is why uh, in Tibetan community, we always uh, celebrate uh, this December 10 as a, like a noble Shide Singda day, sort of like a, uh, so we uh, kind of people in our community and in the, in the monasteries, we uh, gather and uh, uh, do long life prayer for His Holiness the Dalai Lama and appreciate uh, uh, and remember and uh, uh, try to put to our individual effort to uh, bring peace. Uh, as uh, many of you have seen the quote that I actually, I put it on my Facebook, uh, that, uh, and that is actually His Holiness the Dalai Lama always say, the world peace, uh, just kind of like uh, uh, it comes from a uh, individual, like the uh, inner peace uh, within ourselves. So it's kind of like a, uh, like a, the world peace is a collection of uh, uh, many individuals, right? All like all the individuals' uh, inner peace. So. Uh, what is inner peace? And that is a, uh, sort of like, a, first of all, it is a harmony, right? It's a harmony uh, within oneself, uh, with oneself. So it is just kind of like, a, uh, I always remember uh, this one uh, message from Buddha Shakyamuni also, uh, that uh, in the Dharmapada, many of you have heard that, right? Oh, sorry. <laughs> My, uh, this thing jumped. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> so, um, my phone is not uh, harmony. <laughs> not in harmony. <laughs> okay. Let me fix this here a little bit. Okay. Okay. Where are we? Yeah. So this uh, in the Dharma Pada. Buddha actually said, uh, you are with uh, yourself, right? The only person who you are with is yourself. So it is kind of like uh, wherever we go, there you are. That is the uh, exact statement. So wherever you go, there you are, sort of like it. So uh, wherever we are, we actually are with ourselves. So that is why, uh, the most important thing uh, in inner peace is to be comfortable with uh, who we are and uh, who we are with. So that is the kind of like a, a harmony between ourselves. 
right? So that is why uh, kind of like an inner peace is uh, something like uh, we are kind of like a mental peace uh, and uh, something that we are comfortable being who we are, comfortable uh, with ourselves. Okay, so that is kind of like I always uh, think, uh, you know, His Holiness the Dalai Lama message uh, as an inner peace, like the world peace. Uh, you know, we always talk about uh, world peace, world peace, and everybody, we all wanted world peace. But uh, then each and every one of us has a responsibility to bring world, world peace with the individual inner peace. So, um, so that is uh, kind of like a, uh, we should remember uh, His Holiness the Dalai Lama message like that. And, uh, and also, uh, how can we be peace with ourselves? How can we actually bring harmony within ourselves is uh, kind of there. There are many, many uh, different, what you call, methods, right? There are like all the different uh, spiritual um, traditions uh, has a uh, kind of like a different technique, different method, and uh, how to bring harmony within our own mind, how to bring peace within our own uh, mind and self, and how to uh, kind of bring peace in the world. So um, there is not uh, one sort of like a, a technique or uh, what do you call method, uh, like a, uh, in like a one, like you don't have to believe in one spiritual tradition. And I think uh, most of the spiritual tradition actually really teach about uh, how to uh, kind of like bring harmony within our own mind and ourselves. So um, one thing that uh, I have been uh, sort of like a, uh, teaching is uh, like a bringing harmony and inner peace uh, within our mind and within ourselves is uh, to actually connect to connect more with ourselves. So that is why uh, meditation plays a very important role. Meditation actually plays a very important role in uh, um, connecting, right? Sort of like uh, uh, with ourselves. So like a, like a basic meditation, such as uh, kind of like when we actually sit down and then be mindful, be mindful with our body, be mindful with our breath, then be mindful uh, with uh, our own feelings, be, being mindful with our own thoughts, and being mindful with our own sort of like a life force, and then being mindful with our consciousness, sort of like a, so that is like a, the more we become familiar. So that is what the word gom means. Like in the Tibetan word uh, for meditation, we say gom. Gom means familiarity, sort of like become familiar, become familiar, sort of like. Uh, so somehow, uh, you know, in meditation, what actually we are actually doing is uh, we are becoming familiar with who we are and what we are. Because uh, uh, in our sort of like a, uh, many day-to-day -day life, uh, like uh, what we actually do is we are sort of like uh, not so comfortable with ourselves. Why? Because we are not so familiar with ourselves. And we are sort of like uh, uh, trying to disconnect from what we are and uh, who we are, sort of like uh, trying to go more and uh, more further distance from ourselves. So that is why what meditation does is actually meditation actually help you to uh, kind of erase that distance with ourselves. So the more we become familiar with ourselves, sort of like familiar with uh, what we are, 
So it is like a, in the present moment, right? Where we exist, right? We are always in the present moment. Somehow we kind of like a, uh, from the existence, from a reality point of view, like our body is always in the present moment. Right? Our body is our, our always in the present moment. And just generally, our whole existence, our whole existence in the present moment. So it is like when we bring our kind of like attention, our mind and like to into the present moment. And there actually we, we can become more familiar. There we can actually connect. So we connect more into uh, the present moment with ourselves. So the more we become familiar and connect with ourselves, then somehow uh, it will help us to uh, become more uh, comfortable being who we are. Um, bring, we can bring more harmony within ourselves. So that is why uh, wisdom is also necessary because uh, when we are connecting with ourselves, then if we are trying to connect with our self that doesn't exist, something that is uh, kind of like a, uh, uh, ego, sort of like a mate, uh, sort of like an imaginary self. So if we are trying to connect with our self that is not actually exist, then somehow, like if you are trying to connect with something that is not exist, then there is like a, uh, no way to connect, right? It is just like a, because it doesn't exist. So that is why we need to know uh, first uh, uh, how actually we exist, how we exist in the present moment. So for that, the wisdom is necessary, right? So that is why sort of like, uh, you know, if we are trying to connect with ourselves that doesn't exist, that is something projected by our ego or some kind of like idea of who we are, then it is just like we are kind of like becoming familiar uh, we are becoming familiar with the ego. And that is uh, when we actually uh, kind of like a search ourselves into the past. So if we search ourselves into the past and if we search ourselves into the future, then that self doesn't exist. So we have to connect with the self that exists in the present moment. So then sort of like a, we become more comfortable. So if we are uh, kind of like uh, somehow, if we uh, become familiar with ourselves, and then if we're starting to become uncomfortable, and if we are kind of having some sort of like a restlessness or some sort of like a disharmony with ourselves, then that is the sign that we are actually trying to connect with the self that we are searching in the past. If we send our mind into the past, if we send our mind into the future, then we will start feeling little disharmony and we will lose our inner peace. So that is why uh, kind of like a, a inner peace, uh, like the best method that what I think is uh, to kind of become familiar through meditation. So uh, as I mentioned earlier, there are many different meditation methods, right? So uh, we don't have to kind of like uh, think that uh, only the uh, Buddhist uh, method is the only method. We, we don't have to think like that. So, uh, you know, the main thing is uh, just kind of like uh, to be able to connect with our true self and uh, so that uh, is, you know, you don't uh, necessarily have to believe in, you don't have to necessarily, you know, believe in anything sort of like that. So just kind of uh, like, a, you know, bringing the wisdom and, and also sort of like a, uh, there is a compassion component to it that uh, when you actually starting to connect with yourself, 
then it is like uh, somehow uh, you know it has some sort of like a self love right just kind of like a, there is a self love so then like a, you know when you actually connect with yourself with the love and compassion and wisdom then when we look at other people it's kind of like a, we you know it is like a, we can actually find that similarity so we don't have to put a lot of effort to actually uh, practice love and compassion and wisdom uh, with the, with the other people it is kind of like a, it will sort of like a, once you connect with yourself when once, once you are actually in harmony with yourself when once you have a uh, peace with yourself then it's kind of like you will have a peace with uh, everybody so that is the uh, uh, kind of like the wisdom that I learned uh, from uh, his own the Dalai Lama teacher, uh, teachings. So anyway, today uh, is uh, celebrating uh, the Nobel Peace Prize Day. And uh, I hope that uh, everybody uh, is in a good spirit. And uh, so uh, here uh, I'm still in India and uh, sending many uh, blessings and many prayers. And, uh, and also uh, I pray that uh, inner peace, uh, kind of you can connect with yourself and then have uh, many uh, sort of like, uh, what do you call, happiness and joy. Uh, so this is my prayer and, uh, and also uh, through the individual inner peace, uh, may there be a, a world peace. And that is, uh, uh, I pray, and I will conclude today. <laughs> so I just wanted to uh, be part of this uh, Ahimsa uh, celebration. Uh, many people, you already know that uh, Emma Hall, uh, for uh, have been actually we have been celebrating this December 10 as a Ahimsa Day, and uh, last uh, this year and two year, uh, like last year and this year, uh, sort of like with this uh, pandemic, our uh, you know physical uh, Emma Ho Center uh, kind of like uh, remain closed, so we have been celebrating that virtually, and uh, so. Um, I wanted to be part of this uh, celebration, uh, even though I am uh, not uh, in America, but uh, uh, fortunately, I think we can connect, right? we can connect uh, uh, on this digital platform. <laughs> and uh, so I hope that uh, this uh, uh, pandemic uh, situation will uh, end soon and uh, then uh, I hope that we I can travel freely and connect with the new in person all of you in person so thank you thank you all very much <laughs> <laughs>